everybody, it's me McKenna and today's video is going to be my back to school supply haul slash like <laughs> slash what I'm going to be using this school year. So I'm going back to school virtually for the beginning of this school year because obviously with everything that's going on, everyone has different things in their state, their uh, county, their city, different things are going on. So here in Texas, in Houston, we have some different options. My school district has decided that we can choose every grading period to be virtual or in the classrooms. And based on my parents and I's decision, we decided I'm going to be doing virtual school at home. So, of course, when you're at home learning, like most people did at the end of the school year last year because of things shutting down, and so we've already kind of had an experience doing it. So we kind of know things we need and things we don't need. So I figured I can show you guys what we purchased and things we gathered from around the house to make it so we can do virtual school. So. I am going into my sophomore year of high school, um, so it's going to be kind of different. Um, I had my freshman year last year, and it was definitely not the normal thing you would expect. Your freshman year ends with, like, this big virus breaking out. So there are some things that we have to change a bit. So I have some basic items that I always have with me and then some items that are new because of the virtual situation. So let me talk to you guys about what I always have with me. So this is my planner. This is from Michaels. This is a 2020 planner. So it's for the entire year of 2020. So I've already been using it. I bought it in February when Michaels has their huge planner sale for the beginning of the year. So this is the planner I have. It, I can't remember what company it is by. It does not say it in here. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. But this planner has the each month, but it also has goal making for each month, long-term goals. It has some stickers in it already and it has a little folder thing. Um, it also, with each month, there is a calendar and uh, weekly slash daily pages. So for this month, which is August, the beginning of the month, it has a quote. This month is believe in yourself. And then the next page is your vision board for the month, your motivation, your routine. And then it has the month. Um, and then it has your weeks. So we don't start school till the 24th of August, and I'm filming this on the 17th, so literally a week from today will be my first day of virtual school. So, of course, I have put in my calendar for the school year. Our district puts out a school year calendar, and that stuff I've marked in my planner, and I have it already. So, this is a thing that I always have, no matter virtual or in person. I've always used a planner ever since like third grade. So an essential item. Next thing that is new, but I've used it through for school throughout the years is an iPad. I actually recently bought this for myself with money I saved up. This is the iPad. It's not a pro, but it's the newer one that they have that you can use the Apple pencil with. Um, it's, kind of like a pro, but it's the cheaper version. They came out with it for students and education. So it's a cheaper version, but it still kind of does the same stuff an iPad Pro does, but just not as high of a quality. So I bought it, it was on sale for at Best Buy and I've been using it because I've been taking a summer class and it's been super convenient. And my dad had a old iPad Pro and so he had an Apple, uh, pencil that he broke a piece off of and it still works fine but he ended up getting a new one for his new iPad Pro 
and he gave it to me and I've been using it with this iPad for school work, my summer school class, and also I've been enjoying sketching out like fashion drawings and costumes, which is super fun because I like to do that for theater. Theater is my big thing that I like to focus on in life. I am been a theater lover for forever and I am a dancer so having the technology to be able to create even though I can't go out and create and perform I can still do stuff at home like having an iPad to sketch and create which I love using Procreate and I literally will just like google a body sketch of like the body sketches because I'm not that great at sketching those and I literally just do my design on top of those. So it's super awesome. Next thing that we got, which of course is super nice to have, I got one of those rolling carts. I'll put footage here. The rolling carts that you see everywhere that the first version came from Ikea, but this is a cheaper and bigger version from Amazon. I will try and link it in the description below if I can find the exact one I use, but there's a million on Amazon. They have them at Michael's, they have them at Home Goods, they have them at Ikea. They have so many different versions and so many different styles and sizes. So I got a black one, it's the three-tiered cart, and it's rolly, which I thought would be convenient because if I'm doing school at home, we do have desks and I can, I'll insert a clip here. We do have desks in a separate room in the house. Like I do have my bedroom desk, which I use mostly as a vanity, but I also use it sometimes. But I personally like to keep work away from my bedroom because I learned during the end of the year last year with our online school that we were doing, keeping your work slash education slash school separate from your relaxation, your sleep time is essential and is very key because you don't want to keep your brain stimulated in a space that's meant for rest. So when you're trying to stimulate it during the day, doing work in that similar space, like sitting on your bed and doing your work isn't the greatest thing. Now I do have a chair area that you guys saw in my room tour that I was doing my school on uh, towards the end of the year and it was convenient, but I definitely learned that that was not the space that was right to do work on. And also the desk in my bedroom is just not the right size to be able to do the amount of work I need to do. It worked perfectly fine for the end of the year last year, but we did have desks in a separate room of the house that were cluttered and are basically junk storage. But this summer I cleaned it up and I now made it into a resin workstation for my business, which if you don't know my business, you can check out other videos on my channel here and also the link in the description to my Instagram and shop for my business where I make resin jewelry and accessories and things like that. That is also the space where I've been working on that. So it was, I had to create a space where I could work on that stuff, but also transform it into an educational space. So it is a fold up desk that we purchased from Target, I think about a year ago, um, because we transformed our formal dining room into an office space for my mom who works from home and she is like the queen of work. She literally is the best mom ever. She's had so many businesses throughout the years and she's had so many careers and she just works her butt off to provide for our family. Though my dad also has a job, she also uh, adds to our income by working her butt off. So she has her own business where she does window coverings and blinds and things such as that. She's, her company is a design company. She also helps with, works with designers um, to help people get window coverings and design things for their homes. So she has a large desk area, a storage thing in the center, and then we also have two desks on the side. The one desk is my brother, Ford's. He's turning 10 this year. He is going into fourth grade, which, oh my gosh, he's getting so big. We're six years apart, so it's kind of crazy to think of that literally six years ago, I was in his position. So he's just getting so old and so big, but he's doing virtual school to start off as well. But 
he is a young boy, so we have we are trying to create a plan that also makes it so he can stay focused, but also keep enjoying school because he doesn't have the accessibility of having his friends sitting around him and stuff like that. So it's nice to have a communal workspace. So literally there is this Ikea Pax closet system that we have a storage thing. It's not really used as a closet. You've seen the Pax systems in my bedroom. It's literally two of those smushed together with this walnutty wood facade on it that my dad made. And so we have that in between the two desks and then there's a big desk in the center where my mom works. I have the desk on the left side and my brother has the desk on the right side. So it's gonna create a kind of school environment. It's our kind of homeschool virtual school station. So for that, we have the rolly cart. Now on the top tier of my rolly cart, I'll pull out some of the things so I can show you the school supplies I got. But I have these old, uh, candle jars. This is from a candle that I loved and we still use can the same scent of candles to this day because it's awesome. Um, and I cleaned it out and I use it to hold my pens, which is a great reusable way. This is a mix of these Japanese uh, felt tip markers that uh, are kind of like the fine line pens from uh, whatever the brand is but it's the, um, the Japanese version that came first. And then I also have these awesome Pilot Juice gel pens, which I love so much. I love my Japanese Pilot pens, they're my favorite. And some other random pens and things because I love to take colorful notes. And I also use these in my planner. So this is one thing I will be using this year, especially because I do not have class that's in person so I can definitely take time to make my, my notes very organized and colorful to attract my eye and help me study better. Now this little container, um, I think this, oh this is from a Trader Joe's plant. They have their cute little succulents and plants and things that was gifted to us and the plant died and my mom kept this pot and I love lavender so she gave me this and I have my expo marker, dry erase markers, um, my erasers, my pencil, some rulers and bullet journal accessories that I use on my notes, uh, erasers, staple refills, whiteout, I love whiteout, and a hole punch, a single hole punch. So yeah, that's what's in there. Then of course, the most necessary thing for a high school student, especially anyone in a high level mathematics class, is a calculator. This is the TIN Spire CX2 by Texas Instruments. This is the same calculator we use at school. When we took the practice SAT last year, we were required to provide our own calculators. Now, normally our school provides calculators for in class, but first off, I'm not in class. And second off, I had to buy one for the practice SAT and I will be needing one for the SAT anyways. And in college, I can still use this. My cousin is in college right now and she actually uses the same calculator, just a different model, but the exact like same calculator setup and everything. It's just an older model of it. And she uses it in college. So the great thing about this is you make the one-time investment and you use it for a long time. So I will be using this for the rest of high school and probably for the rest of college. So that's nice. And it's rechargeable and super awesome. So yeah, I have my calculator. Now the next thing I have is sticky notes. Every single person you've met ever in high school or elementary school or anything, post-its have kind of been like that staple item that people use. This is a like, it's like a weighted desktop post-it holder that my grandfather who sadly has passed away, he loved st stationery and when he passed away, I picked out some of his stationery and stuff to keep. I used some of his pens and he had sticky notes and note cards. So I pretty much don't have to buy sticky notes or note cards for the rest of my life. So this is one of the things he had. He loved education and books and stuff like that. And so this was one of those things like he used. He was like that guy who would mark up a book so much. It would like that you could barely see the original printed text. So it was so awesome. Um, I definitely aspire to be like that. 
Um, next thing is highlighters. This is a new pack because my highlighters are dried out after a school year of using them to death. This is the Sharpie Clear View highlighters. I've never used this specific version, but I do usually use the normal Sharpie highlighters. I've never used the Clear View ones, but they now have new colors. And so like the bright orange, they have like a peachy orange and the purple shade's a little bit different. And so is the pink shade. But I'm super excited because they're a little more, uh, they're still highlighters, but they're a little more calmed down than the traditional highlighters. And then my pencils that I love. These are the Papermate Clear Point uh, number two pencils with the 0.7 millimeter lead. These are what like are so popular and they've been my favorite pencils since like they first came out. When I was like in second grade, I started using these and I have not used really a regular pencil since unless I'm required to for like state testing and stuff. So this is like the only pencil I use. Next two things kind of go hand to hand. I have a mini Sharpie brand stapler that I bought last school year that I've been using like crazy. And then of course, a Scotch tape dispenser. This, uh, we buy the Scotch magic tape refills from Costco and we literally just keep a pack of those. And I've had this tape dispenser for forever. It literally has like cotton ball like stuff to it because I once tried to like paint it and so I tried to take the paint off with nail polish remover and then just got the cotton ball stuff. I've literally had this since first grade. My mom bought it for me because I was like "Ooh, a pink tape dispenser because I love doing crafts with tape. Now I don't like pink that much but <laughs> this is pink because it's the only color left but I, do, I don't hate pink. I definitely like it but not as much as lavender and yellow. So there's that stuff which is on the top tier of my cart. Then the next tier is a bunch of notebooks, which you kind of know what a notebook is, but this is the notebook that I, these are left over from last year, notebooks I didn't use. There's three spiral notebooks and a few composition notebooks. So I didn't have to buy any uh, composition notebooks this year, but uh, this is the five star um, notebooks. These are a newer version that they came out last year. It's college ruled, but it has a clear pocket in the front and then it has a table of contents. And then the layout's a little different. It has a page number spot, a little note section on the side, and the lined paper goes all the way to the top and bottom instead of how traditional notebook paper has the big space. So I love that you can maximize your usage of it completely. And then of course, I have composition notebooks, which I, I should show you this just because it's so pretty. I found these at Target last year and I didn't end up using all of them, but this is a holographic composition notebook. I don't know if you can tell, it's hard for me to see because I can't see the camera, but it's super cute and I will be using these this year. And if I don't, then I can use some of them next year. But composition notebooks aren't something I use a crazy amount of. I mostly use spirals. So I basically just use what I can out of what we bought and whatever I don't use, I end up using them next year. That's the nice thing about school supplies. Hey have to get it but ugh, it's on the bottom tier of the cart uh first before I move on to the bottom tier this is a hole punch a multi hole punch for like binders and things that is an essential speaking of binders we have binders <laughs> this is a big black binder that I use for choir I am taking choir this year. I haven't done choir since like fourth and fifth grade, so it's gonna be like a, a different thing, but I used to play piano and I do voice and theater, so I figured taking choir would be a great place to put in place of my Spanish slot because I finished all my language credits for high school. So this is my choir binder. Our school colors are purple, white, and silver and black. So I figured, I literally just made this this morning, it has my name and it says choir and it's super cute and shiny stickers. And yeah, it's perfect for choir. Um, this is my choir binder. I have my music in here, my little pencil pouch with highlighters and pencils, my marking stuff, my sheet music, music marking guide that I made because I have my own color coded system. These super cute dividers that they had at Target this year, they're super fun. 
they're like plain on the front and then they have fun patterns. This is my music theory work. Um, but yeah, they're super cute. And yeah, it's just a black binder because when you do choir stuff, you have your music in a black binder. So yeah, that's one thing. Of course, I got the five star eight tab binder dividers with pockets. I get these pretty much every year. Somehow they always end up broken, ripped, cut, messed up. So these are two more sets because I actually got two binders this year from the UB brand from Target. And oh my gosh, you guys know I love lavender. And they're so cute. They're lavender binders. They're one inch binders. And I'll be using these for my stuff. I also have another binder that I have my stuff from my summer course that I took this year. Uh, which was a UB brand binder and it had like eyelashes all over it. I don't know if I, I'm pretty sure I did a school supply haul last year and I'm pretty sure it's in that video. Um, but yeah, that's where my core summer course stuff is right now. And then I will be moving it out and putting my this year's subject stuff in there because I reuse binders as many times as I can, but this was the year that I had to buy new binders. Next thing is folders. Uh, yes, I do use binders, but I also use folders because for some reason with technology, they still haven't decided to go paperless as much as they can. They literally still have us print out sheets and do work, especially with virtual. They're like, print out this sheet, fill in the work, then send a picture in of your work for us to grade. And I'm like, why can't I just fill it out online? There's programs that you can do that, but they, they don't have us do that sadly. So we use so much paper, but these are folders. I also just love having fun folders. My color schemes, I try to keep like a few colors, uh, kind of create a color scheme for my school supplies so that I know what my stuff looks like. If I don't happen to label something, I know, oh, that's the color of that and stuff like that. So these are basic uh, two pocket folders by five star and they're the plastic e ones not the paper um it depends i like the plastic and paper for different things these also don't have the prongs because i hate the prongs unless they require us to get them um so this is yellow because of course i love yellow and these are the kind that also can go into your binder if you need them to so yeah next thing is another set of folder folders but these are two pocket folders but they are paper. Well, they're not paper paper. They're the paper with like the wax finish. They're the green room ones where they're made out of recycled paper and soybean based ink. And these are very Kate Spade-ish. Obviously my room, this is my room accent wall behind me. I love polka dots and Kate Spade. And these made me think of Kate Spade. So I bought them. They're gold polka dots with black and a off white stripe and they're super cute so yeah and it goes super well with all the other school supplies i have so it'll be super fun so last thing on my list is this these are super cute i got these super cool little binder clips from the dollar section at target they are gold and on them they say yesterday tomorrow and today so I figured if there's stuff I need to turn in or I will be probably printing out quite a bit of papers, I can clip them together with these for the days of the week. And if I don't end up sorting them into my folders every day, I can go, oh, this says yesterday. Let me look. And I open the binder clip and pull out the sheets. I can also put things in specific folders and mark the folders with these. So yeah. And then lead refills because obviously I use mechanical pencils. And there's also these other binder clips that I have in here that I got from Office Max a few years ago, but I've seen they still have. They're a bunch of different colors, but they have little like emoji faces on them. I have to, I have to do this, but they come in a bunch of different colors and they have little emoji faces. So this one's like a face and this one's a face. And then the little purple one is literally his mouth he has x eyes and his mouth is like so that's me when i have to do schoolwork. but yeah these are also going to be super convenient so yeah oh and it's also a little target uh candle it's gingerbread house scented i bought it black friday shopping this past year and i used it up 
So I cleaned it up and I'm using it for my little stationery stuff. But that is all for the stationery back to school haul for this year. Um, I will insert those clips that I was talking about and you guys can see my desk area, my study space, and maybe I will do some vlogs of school stuff and I will try and do a video on my first day of school about how it went and yeah so thank you guys for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified every time i post and comment down below what videos or things you would like to see on this channel thank you guys for watching don't forget to look at the links into the description and thank you for watching bye